So this here is Clary Sage and it comes in this pretty pink, purple and white. And this is what it looks like when it goes all brown and crispy and it's got seed in it. So I'm going to go and harvest the seed from this and sow them straight away. So here we have I've got our seed pod. I'm just going to see if we can get a seed out of any of these. I'm just going along to see if I can feel anything. There we go. That one's got some seeds in it. If I bring those up, you can have a look. So I'm just going to go through. So I've got four out of that one little shoot there. So I'm just going to go through and select some of these out now. Nothing like a bit of mindfulness of just getting some seeds out. And this is all from that one stem of a plant I've got all of these seeds from. How good is that? So as that is a much larger seed, I'm actually going to sow them in their own individual cells in a much deeper cell tray. It's got quite a large holes at the bottom so all the soil will come out. So I just use a tray at the bottom, which that's where the water will go through to hydrate it. And that way I can let one plant, one cell, one seed uh, grow. And obviously it's got quite enough time there to develop a really good root structure because there's going to be plenty going on. Uh, in October and November with potting on and pricking out and at least then that's one thing that's just ticking away in the background that I don't need to fret about. So I'm going to use a, a cell approach on this one and then later on I can pop them up into nine centimetres or they could be quite fine in there um, and then I'll just plant them out next year. So I'll see you again soon and we will be sowing some more seeds. Bye!